demonstrating intrepid gridding of full tensor gravity data. Our example compares results from intrepid's slurp tensor gridding technique against simple tensor component gridding. We start with a modelled geology, which I'll now show using GeoModeler. So we just have loaded up a uh, geometry. This is uh, assumed to be a uniform density um, body uh, beneath the ground. And we then compute, we then can, can compute the full tensor gravity at uh, 120 meters, giving us a, an expected FTG result um, above this body. Uh, the colors here represent um, uh, cube root determinant. From uh, this same body we can also compute a hypothetical survey um, of uh, uh, 400 meter line spacing and also at, at an elevation of 120 meters. I'll just load up this data set. Again, we're loading in the cube root of the determinant of the tensor. It's a simple way of visualizing it. And then we can show that. And here you can see what we're doing. We have a uh, synthetic airborne survey, line separation 400 meters, uh, only for the northern part of the, uh, the body. And we are now going to grid this data set and see how good we are at reproducing the underlying grid, uh, which is a model response. So we do that by using the gridding tool of Intrepid. And we load our synthetic survey. And uh, the data set that we're going to grid is this um, tensor field, grav lev, uh, E and U coordinate system. We're choosing the gridding technique of nearest neighbor and tuning the parameters. We turn off minimum curvature refinement and we simply set the cell size of the output grid to 20 meters and this gridding tool will automatically use the slope method when it comes across a tensor field and it'll actually give us a tensor output grid. Hit apply and here we can see the resultant grid. So we can compare that against the, the modeled here. First, before we uh, do more comparisons, we'll uh, regrid um, the same airborne data set, but this time with um, the individual components. Uh, because that takes uh, a little while to do, we're just going to show one that uh, has been prepared earlier um, called um, Cold Tensor Using Components. So just to compare all of those, we again are going to use GeoModeler and we'll just load up all three grids to show them side by side. Okay, so first we go for the computed, which is only uh, computed at, at 100 meters. Then we'll show the simple components, gridded at 20 meters, and the slurp um, technique using uh, um, intrepid's gridding, also at 20 meters.
Now we've only gridded the northern part here, so you can compare this single component method against the slope method, and you can see that the the slope method is uh, giving us a better result. It, it's honouring the shape here uh, much better than the single component. End of demonstration.